Shalom, friends. In this week's Torah portion, Ki Se, which is midway through the book of Deuteronomy, the Torah enunciates a breakthrough principle upon which all current democracies are based. In the ancient world, you were part of a tribe, part of a clan, part of a caste, part of a group, and you were held accountable for the errors or the shortcomings or the sins of your group. Not only your own personal errors, but those of the people around you somehow became your burden and you were punished for them as well. In a remarkable change, predicated on the idea that each person is made in God's image, reflects the divine, is intrinsically lovable and capable of loving, and therefore responsible for themselves and for the choices we each make in the world, here's the principle the Torah enunciates. Lo yamutu avot al banim, ubanim lo yamutu al avot, ish bechato yamutu. Parents shall not be put to death for their children, children shall not be put to death for their parents. Each person is responsible only for their own sin. Now let's think about what that means. It means, on the one hand, that each of us are liberated from the collective guilt of the group with which we affiliate or whose label we carry. Groups have to make decisions, and we should try to impact those decisions for the good, but we are responsible only for ourselves. But the catch to that is, you only have yourself to blame. When we make poor choices, bad decisions, self-interested decisions, we can't say, well, I blame my culture, I blame my heritage, I blame my family, I blame the people around me. No. Each person is responsible for their own sins. And it may be impacted by the culture that we're part of, or the family we were raised by, or the people we hang out with. For sure, that can impact our decisions. But the buck stops with each and every one of us. We are responsible for our own choices. And in making that assertion, the Torah opens up the possibility of accountability, of taking responsibility for ourselves, and of assuming a place of dignity and honor in the world, unencumbered by decisions we ourselves didn't make or weren't party to, but also carrying the responsibility of our own choices, which means the future is yours to make. Make good choices.